see food like this and you don't think watching sports, but this is such a better way to enjoy the game. You can go steaks. The burgers are always good. Salmon. Some of my personal favorite over the years, the popcorn shrimp, the tachos. The tachos? Yeah. Are they tater tot nachos? Tater tot nachos, yeah. Tell so. me you had some influence on that because... Okay, I will. Little, I'll tell you little... I did. I did. Okay. Why number 27? Ohio State gave me number 38. I looked in the mirror. It just doesn't said, feel right. Yeah, just, <laughs> no, I was like... Get along. <laughs> Rodney Hampton at the time was a running back for the Giants. He wore 27. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make something out of this now. George is gone. Eddie George. I wasn't the fastest. I wasn't the strongest. I was hungry. Touchdown, Ohio State. Against Illinois, my senior year. I wound up getting 314 yards a day. Hey! That's the game that solidified the Heisman Trophy for me. So you actually started in the restaurant industry while you were in the NFL. Yeah. Take me through that process. Yeah, well, it was in 2000, the year that we went to the Super Bowl, had our Super Bowl run, place people came to after the games and celebrated our victories. And I said, if I ever did another one, I would want to do one in Columbus. Eddie opened Grill 27 in 2006 setting a new standard for watching the college game. This is the <laughs> nicest sports bar I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, thank you. Well, we have a high-class guy to live up to. We have 43 TVs, large projector screen, good sound system, too. Kind of got that 360 feel to it, you know what I mean? <laughs> in the main dining area, you're immersed in a great atmosphere. It's nice. But Eddie had a bigger idea, an owner's box. So sports fans, prepare yourselves to step into the light. Four TVs in here. Yeah, watch some television. The Lazy Boys are money. That's, that, that is key. I think Troy and I might have yeah. to test them out later. <laughs> Enjoy life a little Four bit. This was our chance to try something special. So we decided to order the glazed salmon and a seasoned 16 ounce ribeye. Oh my, look at that thing. Nice and brown right there, got a good sear. Look at that, getting the grill marks. Are you gonna do a cross hatch on him? Yeah, 45 degrees. 45 degrees, like he's got it there and you can have a perfect cross hatch at home. The glaze is thickened up, nice. That's cuisine, man. That's worthy of your goatee. Fantastic. Oh, with a flash of flame. That right there. Cooked to mid-rare. You got some nice char on there. Dainty little piece of steak. Wow! That's hot! How mm. happy would you be if you sat down to watch a game and this is what was brought out for you? Yeah. This is a 16-ounce ribeye, beautifully Ooh. cooked. This is out of this world. Tell me the secret of the steak, because it has a nice char on it. They take a great cut of meat. They put salt, pepper, garlic. You got a hash mark on that? Hashtag steak. And this has got a little bit of an Asian flair to it. You know, you got your soy, ginger, and an orange marmalade. Mm. You know, if you win, it makes it a better experience. If you lose... You're happy because you had a great meal. I know. 